In today's video, we're gonna check out some creepy TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. In the world is going on now. We are having sinkholes open up like everywhere, everywhere. You know, I'm about to show you some other ones, but you know, there are certain people who say that there is a whole world that's active under our feet. Makes you think, right? I mean, look how deep this hole is. You know, you got the inner earth people. I mean, kind of, they're starting to seem a little bit credible, would you not say? And there's a lot of earthquakes going on very deep under the crust as well. And this one just opened up today as well. This one's in Knoxville. So I mean, it, it's very prevalent all of a sudden lately. I wonder what's going on under the earth. And of course, we just had what I believe is Trenton Pass, which happened a few days ago again, like I said. This is happening everywhere. Do y'all remember the great, I believe it's a uh, Panama sinkhole that just opened up in the middle of a freaking city? Look how deep that is. What's happening under the earth? This wasn't today or yesterday or a while ago, but I'm just showing you. This one's recent, I believe it was five days ago. And you know, for whatever reason, we literally have people illustrating under the White House. What would give them that idea? Remember when the Denver airport put up all those signs under construction? underground tunnels so yeah who knows but there's definitely a lot of sinkholes happening it's really scary to think about that just one day you could just be consumed by sinking into the earth because there's a hollow pocket or something is going on underground and you just had no clue about leave a comment on your theories about these sinkholes do you have any theories about them do you think it's due to hollow earth do you think that it's just a natural phenomenon that's happening because there's pockets in the earth that are hollow or do you think that there's government agencies building underground pathways and they're just collapsing due to poor construction let me know in the comments Believe it or not, this is a real monkey in Monkey World Sanctuary in England. Her name is Zypet. And even zookeepers have commented that she looks nothing like the other monkeys there. It's her eyes. They're almost humanoid. She's very expressive. And when she looks at you, it's like there's intelligence there that she understands. Take a look at this video. It's almost like the vibes from Planet of the Apes. Tell me what you think. I kind of feel bad seeing videos like this because you know it has to be miserable being contained behind a wall and not really being able to be free outside into your own habitat. It's just got to be extremely boring. I wonder what goes on through their head. And I mean, this ape looks like it's contemplating life. Look, you guys, it's even getting more pronounced. Look at this. It's a double rainbow, y'all. Remember, we were only seeing one huge rainbow around the sun. Now we are seeing double rainbows double rings around the sun look at this this couple in oregon went outside right you know tending to their garden and they looked up and they see this huge thing oh my goodness y'all yo so we've just seen this thought we'd share it with you guys i've never seen anything like this it's happening so fast y'all circle rainbow around the sun but then there's a second rainbow yeah the video's probably not gonna do it quite justice but it's good. oh my good y'all i told y'all like when you see this thing in person there's no words there's no words to describe it and then the x over the sun as well the x over the sun What a time to be alive, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Oh, my God. And this one right here was sent to me from Columbus, Ohio, y'all. Check this out. This thing is getting more pronounced, y'all. Oh, my goodness. This thing is getting more pronounced. But, yeah, things are getting a lot more interesting, y'all. All I can say is let's get this shift. I wonder if we'll get another hit song from this, like Double Rainbows. If you know, you know. The following video is crazy i had to share it but honestly this is literally gonna be nothing but a disclaimer 
This is not normal bear behavior. Please do not go out into the wild and try to befriend a mama bear. She will protecting her cubs. This bear obviously has a relationship with this man and feels 100% comfortable in leaving her cubs with him. It's crazy to see, but again, this is a disclaimer. This is not normal behavior for bears. Do not go out into the wild and attempt this. Мамка бросила своих детей, да, к моей мамке. Пока мамка там ерунда занимается, да? Кто-то так, а кто-то так. I would like to have a bear as a pet. That would be pretty neat, but that's way too dangerous. This must be some kind of farm or ranch where they take care of bears or something because I cannot imagine just some wild bear being okay with some guy holding their cubs. This is a real story. It happened to this maid. She was working at a house. She was told there might be some spirits, but she's very resilient and she wouldn't really be bothered by that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just cleaning the house, right? One day she was cleaning and she heard the beeping of a phone. And that's the noise a phone makes when it's off the hook. So she's the only one in the house, right? Yeah. So she goes and looks and she literally sees the phone hanging. Like, oh what the fuck? Like who did that? Yeah. yeah. She's the only one in the house. She just puts it back like, okay, I'm alright. It's nothing, right? Yeah. Walks away. And she goes to vacuum the house. She starts in the upstairs. So she's vacuuming. But every time she turns on the vacuum, she would hear voices talking in the bottom floor. What? So she would turn off the vacuum and then run downstairs and see who's there. No one's there. Nobody's there, right? <sighs> but it would only happen when she turns on the vacuum. She kept working there for weeks on end until it got really fucked because she believes the spirits they were just teasing. Sometimes when I'm editing a video and I have my headphones on and I'm listening to the audio, I sometimes think that I hear someone talking outside in the hallway. Do any of you experience anything like that? I don't scare easily, but this is the kind of shit that horror movies are made of. TikToker Katie Rementer and her family were on vacation in upstate Maine when something happened to them that none of them were expecting. Now there is quite a bit of context that has to go into this video. Context that she goes through in detail on her TikTok channel. So go ahead and head on over there to <laughs> hear the full thing. But what you have to know is that this individual met them at a restaurant earlier that night. And from what I understand, what they were able to find out was that he was off his medication and was unfortunately having an episode so hopefully after this event he was able to find somebody to get him the help that he needs good luck to you buddy i've always said some of the scariest monsters out there in the world are just people and the part that really would bother me the most out of anything is that this person knows where I live. They followed me from whatever place that I came from and are standing outside in front of my house. That would bother me quite a bit. Running across someone creepy in town or in the city, that's one thing. But when you're in the comfort of your home and the next thing you know, you look out and it's that same creepy individual that you've seen in the city or uptown. <laughs> that's what it makes me do. Ugh.
That would bother me a lot. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. And to everyone that's subscribed and or watching, thank you for being subscribed and thank you for watching. Something weird happened to the skies of Germany. This actually happened around May 17th of 2024. Dozens of witnesses posted videos of their skies turning red during a storm. It even hit their local news station. The question though is, what caused this? What could have made their skies go completely red? Take a look at the next two witness videos and tell me what you think. You better hope that the vampires aren't coming out because that's just sinister looking. I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me exactly what this is from or how this is happening exactly, but that would be pretty crazy to experience a red sky like that because that was just red. All right, so check this out. Go to Google Earth. This is pretty funny. Go over to uh, Taiwan area and zoom in on the corner of Taiwan to this little island right here. Zoom all the way to this little end piece and then go to uh, street view. You'll see there's one there. Zoom in, click on it and look what you get here. It's pretty wild. Definitely has to be fake, but look, you got this weird structure right here. I don't know what it is. And then you just keep panning around. You'll see it's a big boat, like a tour boat. Someone's pointing. And then you got this in the water. <laughs> what in the world? Someone has obviously hijacked Google Earth or something, but I thought this was pretty wild, pretty funny. Uh, Gia Play 3D, I don't even know what that is, but you can see there's a logo there right above the image. Obviously fake. I mean, yeah. But isn't that wild? Obviously, definitely fake, but it gives me more reason not to trust Google Earth or any kind of imaging software like that because... They could be adding all kinds of fake things like that. Even if this is fun, it's still something that's false, you know? So what else are they falsifying that could potentially be covering up something that's real? Kenny Beach. He was hiking in Nevada in the desert near Area 51 and he found this cave. It was shaped perfectly like a capital M and he started walking close to it and he said his whole body felt like it was vibrating and he went to the entrance and he said the vibration in his body was so intense that it scared him and he ran away. He talked about it on his YouTube. Everyone's like, you gotta go back and see what it was. One comment said, if you find that cave entrance, do not go in. You won't get out. Oh. He ignored it. So he said, I his girlfriend. He's like, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna camp out there. Never came back. Oh. And they don't know where he is. He just dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah, he's gone. Bro. They found his car that was like a couple miles from the cave, but they have not been able to find him. People theorize that it was an entrance to Area 51. There's something weird in Nevada. Yes. 51, Lovelock Cave, the whole the cave that we're talking about right now. There's yeah. a lot of weird supernatural stuff that happens there. It'd be cool to talk to the Native Americans and look at their lore in the region where the U.S. military is set up. Yeah, well, it's like the um, Lizard City that was built underneath a fort that was used for fort. military purposes. I have a hard time believing that that's something that leads into Area 51. I, I would feel like Area 51 or just that whole area in general would be closed off if that was the case. There's no way that they would just leave some cave system exposed for people to explore and wander into Area 51. I am curious about that cave though. I've not heard of an M-shaped opening to a cave that made you feel like you vibrated when you got near it. I, I would like a little bit more information on this place if it's even real. So if anyone knows any more about this, please leave a comment down below letting me know because I would like to do a little bit more digging on this. Oh my god. This actually might be it. Like we have to be dealing with something like this. I never knew that I was living in a time where this was a threat to my existence. So for those of you that don't know within these last couple months, this thing has appeared on several weather radars and a lot of people have been saying it's a glitch, but it obviously isn't because why is it appearing on multiple different radars? Within these last couple of weeks, the weather has just been abnormal. 
Not only in the U.S., but in places like Dubai, China, and even Africa. And for some odd reason, people are tying it to one thing, the Leviathan. Now, before you guys think this is a fantasy or a myth, let me fill you guys in on exactly what the Leviathan is. So just based off of the Bible, these are some Bible verses that mention the Leviathan and what it is. People like to say that the Bible talks about the Leviathan, but fail to realize that it's a symbolism for something. For example, right here, Leviathan is a serpent that symbolizes Israel's enemies who God would unalive. But in Revelation 13, it actually talks about a beast coming out of the sea. This beast had 10 horns, 7 heads, and 10 crowns on its horns. And on each head, it had a blasphemous name. And if you read this verse, you will notice that this beast had multiple different um, features of animals, such as the mouth of a lion, uh, feet like a bear, um, it resembled a leopard. With that being said, I don't think that this has anything to do with this as much, but it's important to understand that nobody will ever truly know. And with that being said, the most important thing that you can do, and the only thing you really can do, is just read your word. I used to make videos supporting Ryan Garcia, but at the end of the day, you can't really trust anybody anymore. Because you never truly know if anybody, for example, Ryan Garcia, you never really truly know who's on what side for real. He could just be playing the act. Shit, y'all can't really trust me for real. I'll take that back. Y'all can trust me. <laughs> that being said, although there is a lot of speculation on the internet, a lot of things could be false, it's very important not to be ignorant. And uh, you need to keep a lot of these things in mind because there's a lot of truth out there that's being said. And people are disregarding it. Let me know in the comments on your beliefs about the Leviathan, what you think it actually is. I am really curious to hear your opinions about the Leviathan. I think it's just a conspiracy theory, but it's a fun one. Project Looking Glass in Area S4 in Nevada, there was some sort of device where they could go into and time travel. Mm -hmm. And they found out that, and we're talking into like the multiverse now, yeah. where there was back a long time ago, one version of reality went in a way where there was a a nuclear holocaust or some sort of holo some sort of thing that basically ended humanity and the survivors went underground because there was so much fallout over the earth they could not survive yeah. so they had to go underground and they evolved underground for maybe millions of years hundreds of thousands of years and because they were not in the sunlight they were living in darkness they evolved into being what we see now as those gray aliens with mm. the big heads and the big eyeballs. And that's how they, because they evolved underground, that's what they eventually looked like. Wow. Yeah, that's what the Project Looking Glass. If you look at some of the incidents that happened here in uh, not only America, but around the world. They are selling fake avocados in Texas. <laughs> I personally like avocado. I've cut up enough avocado to know that you should not be able to bend it like a sponge. That just can't, that's just not right. And the real side of being in an earthship leaks. This is the first time I've ever experienced leaks like this. I went up to onto my roof. I'll show you. It just stopped raining. And we have rain catchment, so we catch all the rain and put the water in cisterns uh, from the roof. And if you look, it's backed up. Success. You hear the thunder? <laughs> The water is freezing. Cleared it out as much as I could. Gonna clear this out. But for on also, you guys saw me troubleshooting in like real time. Okay. For everybody that's gonna say, oh, you should have checked the wa the gutters first. Okay, I just moved here. Okay, into this earthship. Okay. <laughs> like, give me a break, please. Like, <laughs> okay. This is me troubleshooting in real time, but also. That's pretty scary that it leaks that much, but it's still really cool to see an Earthship like that. I really do like that style of home. It just needs to be maintained because you'll suffer with that kind of damage if you don't keep it cleaned and or maintained properly. But overall, an amazing view. I would love to wake up to a view like that every morning. I would set me up a little thing on my roof and I would just chill out there most of the day, drinking a cup of coffee, 
watching some TikToks. Life would be pretty good. So now we got a radio signal from space that repeats every hour and it's defying explanation. I don't know why. I don't know why it's defying explanation. It's probably, I don't know, aliens, maybe? Maybe some beings from another world who are trying to communicate with us? I mean, what the fuck else could it be? Who, how, what in God's name is sending a signal every fucking hour from space? If it's not us, I mean, who else could it be, right? I mean, who else is there? The Galactic Federation? No. Why would they be sending us signals? Aren't they like in league with us or something? Because, wait a minute, no, they're not, they're not. They're not. An interesting theory, I'm not saying that this is the case, but what if one day we reach the technology to reach past the firmament, if there really is one, to communicate with the heavens? What if we actually are able to breach that barrier to communicate with what's on the other side? Maybe we're just getting radio signals from angels. That would be really neat to be able to communicate with entities from heaven. But I guess the problem with that is what if you're actually talking to demons and you're being fooled? So there would have to be visual evidence or something because there would probably be some trickery afoot on that one. The Exorcism of the Loch Ness Monster in 1973. Frederick Ted William Holliday was an English journalist who wrote about angling and the Loch Ness Monster, developing strange ideas about what Nessie could have been. In his book, The Great Orm of Loch Ness, Holliday hypothesizes that the creature in the loch was a large invertebrate, like a worm or sea slug, similar to the extinct Talimostrum gregarium. <laughs> gregarium, f***ing hell, dude. However, he noticed the paranormal aspects surrounding the sightings regarding the Loch Ness entity. Holiday believed there were connections between ancient water monsters and the UFO phenomenon, a paranormal aspect that cannot be explained. The exorcism took place in the early evening of June 2nd, 1973, led by Reverend Dr. Donald Ullman. Ted described the third phase of the ceremony, quote, I felt a distinct tension creep into the atmosphere at this point. They rode to the deep waters of the Loch Ness because, quote, an exorcism performed through the bars is useless. Ted describes Omen as almost fainting, which Omen later said was a sign of a, quote, successful exorcism. After the ceremony, Holiday began to experience strange things, like seeing eight foot tall black smoke pyramid shaped columns outside his window and beams of light shooting out of his forehead. Wow, they really actually exorcised that lake. I've never heard of this story before. Have any of you heard this? And if they exercise the lake, I wonder why the guy started experiencing seeing things outside of his house. Pretty crazy story. As soon as India sent that, that satellite to Mars mm. and took a color image of Mars, the real color with the oceans and the water and everything of Mars, the director of NASA flew straight to India. And the next thing you know, about a month later, they're signing a deal. There's a whole press release about it. And they now put them under their umbrella. And the next thing you know, that image, they put something called false color on it, turned the whole thing red. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, the newest image of Mars just got released. I have an image that I took with my Celestron uh, telescope, and a new one just came out. This new image of Mars. How long ago? Just the other day. Really? They finally let somebody see what Mars really looks like. Wow. What is all the blue supposed to be? Water. <laughs> really? <laughs> Guess what they just said about Mars recently? They said that the soil on Mars is better for growing crops than the soil on Earth. Yeah, look at this. How do they know that? The images of Mars? I, I don't know if I believe that. Let me know your thoughts about this because I think this one might have been a little bit of a reach. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. As always, if you enjoyed any of these clips, links are in the description down below. And I hope everyone on Sunday had a good Father's Day. And with that being said, have a good day.